Amazing Seas. The joy of life. It is shaped by the sounds of music. So the beat of drums and the medley of xylophones are rhythms we'll be exploring today with the help of a renowned Toronto artist, Kweku Aka Harris. What is the importance of drumming in the African culture? The importance of the drum in African culture is, of course, it was, we always like to say it's one of the first forms of communication. Uh, satellites, telephones, cellular, whatever you want to call it. It came before Blackbird. Before Blackbird. <laughs> It's shaped like the old, old cell phone. <laughs> and if you talk into this end, you will hear your voice in this end. What's the difference between this drum and that drum? The difference is that this is called talking drum. This particular one is called a tama. In Ghana, we call it dondo or dono. But um, they both talk. All African instruments, especially the drums, can speak. But it's just that this one, you can change the pitch that it produces. separation of Africa from its roots, so Africa or people in the world. We're just separated from the roots of where things come from. What is the purpose of the balafon? The purpose of this uh, is often used for celebration. So it can be used for funeral or for wedding. It's also used for entertaining. And informal versions are used even by just children in the village. They'll take you to bamboo, uh, a bamboo tree cut it in half, one half, one half, and then put some notes across. Yes, sir. And there you have the instrument. Let's do your work.
I need one-on-one -on -one lessons. There is a reason why he has a CD out. Kobe, Kobna Aqua Harrison. You see, what he just did, I tried to replicate it and I could get nowhere. He is truly skilled at what he does. And we need people like you who are bringing the source right back to the people. So thank you for your time and thank you for joining Amazing Series. Thank you. Amazing Series.